Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a review of 2.5 Dimensional Seduction. Now, here's the thing, goes. Last week was an emotional, thoughtful moment for Nona. And I love Nona. I really, really do. Nona has gone through a lot in her ways of developing, and um, we've seen a lot. She's one of those girls that who I rep, rep, who I understand where she's coming from because I'm used to like that. I'm used to. I remember back in the days in high school where I was just like that one percent guy who who loves anime and manga so much that it's hard to find someone in your class or even in your school to talk about anime and manga. You know what I mean? It, look, even my high school in the days didn't have an anime club. Sadly, it didn't. My high school days didn't have an anime club. College, I did. I went to an anime club and it was a, a bright thing to experience the love of anime to all the people. Maybe we do hot takes, this and that. We do. Now, this episode has brought us, and again, a new character. And this new character is somewhat of a character that everybody is familiar with when it comes to gals. Her. Marin Kitagawa. Everybody knows who she is. Everybody knows who's Marin Kitagawa. I mean, like, when you look up anime gals, the first person you're going to look up, the first person that's going to pop up is going to be Marin Kitagawa. Now, she may not be my favorite, favorite gal, although I like Minami from the Hokkaido gals. But my point is, we're talking about gals. Like, these, anime, these this has been an era, not the every year. Every, every year, there's always going to be a gal in the series. You got the girl from Hajime no Gal. You got the gals from uh, Don't Toy With Me Nagatoro. You got Yuzu from Citrus. You got the other gal who um who I review on, which is called um the, the t experiment thing. You know, I forgot the name of that show, but I did talk about it. I forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I literally forgot about that. You know, you got that gal, and then you got the Hokata gals, and you got the other gals from the 100 Girlfriends. Then you got another gal from Akiba Maid War. There's a plethora of gals all around. There's a plenty of gals all around. Now. We're introducing another gal in this one, and she is a newcomer. Unlike, and she's a new newcomer, and she has her reasons. So we're gonna look into that. But without further ado, let's get right to it. Episode fifteen of two point five dimensional seduction. Okay, so let's get down to business. Nona, you know, Nona has developed a lot. She is one of the best developer characters we have ever seen in this series. It's like cosplay brings out the best in you. Cosplay brings out the person, the development, all that around you. I'm looking at Nona and I'm, I truly, truly get it. Her past self has, and I feel bad. You got, you got to feel bad for her. Think about it. Mother didn't, her mother didn't appreciate her cosplay, find cosplay stupid. She got bullied. She started a club. No one didn't appreciate that because she talks about characters. She talks about anime and stuff. And that's kind of like a bowl. That's kind of stupid. To to walk to to have your dark self tell you to walk away, to push, just fuck all that. You don't need all of that, and just just be quiet all day. You know. But thanks to Virasa's development and sorry, sorry, kind of a little emotional. Um, just seeing Virasa. Open up to Nona and the cosplay. That was a beautiful thing to do. Sorry. Happened in the moment. Happened in the moment. And like, like that right there was awesome. Now. And I do like the fact that Nona and Rarissa are talking and communicating. Talk about Lily this, Lily that. They, like they both love Lily. Like there's some yuri this going on here. Like you know how she loves Yuri. I'm sorry. She loves Lily. That's the. That's. That's Rarissa. I mean, that's, that's Nona. She loves Lily Lily. Just like the MC. It's like looking at a gender better thing. But, and in my case, but it, but seriously though, Nona loves, loves Lily. Like, that's her favorite character. Even Rarissa loves Lily. Like, if you put them down, they will have a 24-hour section, a session. Those three will have a 24-hour session as to why they love Lily. And they will go non-stop. Now, I want to talk about another character we just introduced. Arisa. I ain't gonna lie to you, the first thing at the first moment I saw her, the first moment I saw her, I'm like, wait a minute. 
Is that Kitagawa? Is it just like you copy paste her? Is, is that what it is? is? Is that what we did? We just copy paste. And her name is Aria. I mean, she came out of nowhere. And she talks straight up a gal. She is so sure 100% gal. Like, she's like, oh my gosh. You know, say those kind of things like a gal would say. And we got, it was a bright to see. It was a bright moment to see. We got to see Arisa. I mean, we got to see uh, Nogambi and Ririsa, you know, cosplay in a studio owned by a friend of theirs. And their friend, it's like cosplay brings connections to other people. Like, you don't like cosplay, but you try it anyway. And that guy who owns the studio is a friend of the teacher and a friend of their senpai. And again, cosplay brings connections. And senpai... <laughs> Has connections, literally has connections. Like here, you can use the studio if you're a friend of the Semp. If you're a friend of hers, just a friend of mine. She, <laughs> you talk, you talking about like connections. This is the one. That day, you know, they cosplay. Both of them cosplay as Lily, and no, they cosplay as them in, with wings. They cosplay as them as with wings. The first thing I look at, the first time I saw them. The first moment I saw them with the wings, the first thing that came to mind was Penny and Stockings. That was the first thing I saw, Penny and Stockings, because they had their wings. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> you gotta love the MC. Just loving it. But also, it was a development to see. No, no, gonna be. I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry. Uh, no, no, just open up as a character. She loves. She, uh, she breaking the shackles. And I, I do like her character development in this episode because... She's now open. She's able to speak more. She's able to have friends. It's like that was these last two episodes just proving that she has a that she will have a career later on. Oh, not a career, but more friends to come along. Now, this. I want to bring this up. You know, when she came with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> When Arya came up to the uh, to meet them, the first thing that got to my head, just looking at her, was her uniform. That was the thing. I'm like, her uniform is just like hers. And I'm like, wait a minute, did you attend the same school with Kitagawa? Did you? It's like, is there a multi? Is there a universe going on? Is there like a timeline? Is there like a crossover? Yo. What if 2.5 dimensional seduction and Kitagawa, I mean, my dress up darling did a crossover? What if that did? What if, what if, oh God, what if 2.5 dimensional, dimensional seduction and my dress up darling are in a crossover? Or how about if, if the cast of 2.5 dimensional seduction meet, go to school where she goes to and Kitagawa's there? If it's the same universe what if it's the same universe oh my god what if it's the same universe that they're in yo i got a gut feeling in my head i don't know i don't read two i don't read 2.5 but if that's the case oh my god we probably in the same universe they probably did oh my god that would be amazing because it's funny because aria brought up the avengers <laughs> marvel thing <laughs> and no, and that, for Nona's case, I, I look, I understand she don't know Avengers. She don't follow Marvel. I, I'm not dissing her. I mean, not everybody don't not everybody don't know the Avengers. Yeah, people don't like the classic Marvel characters, like the whole Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, those kind of things. But never, but no one don't know the Avengers like that. So I Okay, all points to Nona. I don't blame her because she's into anime, manga, cosplay. She don't know nothing about Marvel. Okay, how many of you guys are into? How many? How many of you guys that you have as friends? Um, don't like you know watch anime, and manga, but don't know about Marvel. I mean, we we've seen those before, but I do like and I do like that rivalry that has with Nona. It's just like Nona's developing a lot. I mean, like the moment Arya came in, she just like I'm an introvert character. It took me two episodes, but. She's five, Aria came in five seconds into the show and she already made friends with uh, Riverside. I'm like, oh my God. Now, in Aria's case, she's a newcomer. She's not a professional cosplayer. She's a newcomer. She wants to get into cosplay. Her reason is to become famous. Now, again, 
Everybody, and I like this show because everybody has a reason to get into cosplaying. Everybody has a reason to get into cosplaying, and there's like pros and cons. But still, looking at Arya's case, she wants to be famous. Now, we did see like a little bit of a flashback with her trying that same hairpin she has a child in a book that fell. So, the only difference that I see from Arya to Kitagawa is that Arya has something to something to prove. She has a there's a a reason behind it. I mean, if you look at the opening and she's looking at the photos, I'm like, there's a reason why. There's a reason why. So, but I can't wait to see Arya cosplaying as you know in the way you know just she the way I see it and all that. I think she's doing this for the family, being that she's poor and all. That, I you see why. But overall, though, this was. A very emotional and exciting episode because we got to see Naona developed in many ways from a shy girl not talking to not making friends to like actually making friends and having a yeah making friends and enjoy the enjoy talking about Lily to Rivisa. like that's a true true best friend that these two I see this is a development going on with um I, there's a, a lot of development with Rivisa and Nona, but it's mostly on Nona. And with the new character showing up, kind of like a copy paste of <laughs> Kitagawa, we're going to see more about her. That's the only difference between her and, and Kitagawa. We're going to see a lot more from her and see where this goes. So I look forward for next week's episode of it, and I'm sure you will.